some of the patterns I mow into my yard look complicated but are actually quite easy. So today I'm going to show you how to mow unique patterns in your yard. Let's get out of the weeds. Thank you guys for uh, joining me for another video. If you guys like uh, this video, make sure you guys uh, like uh, or subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Uh, it really does help me grow this channel and I appreciate uh, all of you guys that uh, support me so far. So to get into this video, first thing I want to uh, talk about is please ignore the uh, crap on my head. I'm a little bit embarrassed to even be wearing this hat right now, uh, so hopefully we recover. With that being said, the first key to mowing any pattern is being able to mow straight lines. And that sounds like a really easy thing to do, but it's actually not as easy as what it sounds. And there's a few easy ways uh, to be able to get yourself to mow straight every time and be able to hide it if you happen to mow crooked lines. First off, when mowing a line on your mower, you want to find a focus point. So look in front of you and see if there's a point Maybe it's a tree, maybe it's a car that's parked. Don't do a moving car because then obviously the line will be crooked. Uh, but maybe a car that's parked or maybe like a post on your fence. Find a fixed point that you want to look at. And whenever you're mowing your first line to start any kind of a pattern, you want to keep your eyes up looking at the point. That is going to keep you mowing straight and pointed in the right direction. You do not want to keep your eyes down focusing on your mower and on its wheels because that's not going to help you mow it straight. But get your eyes up, find your focus point, find the starting point, and mow straight at that. You will notice this will help your lines become much straighter. Number two, start your pattern not at the very edges of your yard. So don't start quite at the beginning. Well, the reason I don't start at the very beginning is because if your first line is crooked, then it becomes harder and harder to straighten it out. So if my first line's a little bit crooked, I can easily, I have room on both sides that are going to be lines so that I can easily blend it in and straighten it out right there at the point. Whereas it's easy if you start at the very beginning of a pattern and you mess it up, well then everything's going to be messed up here on out and it's a lot harder to fix. So if you go in just a little bit, it'll be easier to blend it in. And I'll be able to talk you guys through uh, straightening out any curved lines. And so I start my first line with my reference point as the second post and as I get closer to it I start to go crooked. Now after I turn around and see man I did a really crooked line so what I will do is I will look back at my line find out where it started to get off and then line my mower up with the straight part of that first line and then mow my line back to it. And now I'll get back to fixing it here in just a second. So I finish mowing this other side with them all straight. And then I go back down the original line that was crooked, but I follow the one that's coming back at me that is straight, helping to fix that crooked line. And then I finish it off by coming back at me and I erase the crooked part that I was on the original part. And then I can just finish off the rest of the yard and none of the lines are crooked. Next, I want to walk you guys through step by step how I mow uh, my signature wave pattern in my yard. It's by far the thing I get the most compliments on from people uh, who see uh, my yard or uh, when my wife ever posts something on Facebook, uh, it gets so many comments from people just because it's a, a little bit of a unique pattern that you don't really see that often. And so many people always wonder, well, man, how do you get those waves just kind of looking so straight? So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to mow that pattern. First, I begin to mow a line straight down the middle of my yard as a reference point. I then begin to make my waves, always making sure I cap them at the reference point so that they are even waves. I then just begin to follow along with the pattern, filling it in really nicely. Next, on the other side, as I begin to fill it in, this will make my original reference line disappear. And so here you can see, this is the finished product. Another really cool uh, way that you can create unique mowing patterns for your yard is use the landscape that you have in your yard to kind of dictate what your mowing pattern looks like. 
So you can see from this picture I'll put up of a pattern that I use from my backyard where my flower bed is really curved and kind of cuts into my backyard a little bit. And so I've actually been able to create a really cool looking mowing pattern just by following that line there. So if you guys have any kind of trees or your flower beds or a unique shape, you can use that as kind of a simple pattern. Just start right from the beginning up on the edge of that, follow that edge, then just go back and forth following that same pattern all the way through to create a really unique pattern that will be very specific for your yard. The thing to keep in mind is that whenever you try new patterns, they are not always going to turn out the best. Where I've just kind of had this brilliant idea in my head and then I go out and mow it and I'm not always convinced that it looks the best or maybe it's hard to see from when I'm striping so it just it, you really can't see the pattern or just kind of looks messy. But be creative. You never really know until you actually do it. So whenever you're trying to come up with something, just think of something, then try mowing it. You will find some stuff that looks really cool and that you want to start implementing. And then others you might just be like, eh, let's not try that again. But just have fun with it. So to end this video, I want to show you guys a time lapse of a brand new pattern I've tried on my yard. So take a look and let me know what you think. guys will join me next time when we get out of the weeds into a beautiful lawn.